Rearranging equations with squares or square roots in can look more difficult, but actually, if we follow the steps through carefully, it's really quite easy. Now, we follow the same general rules, which is to gradually make the equation simpler. So on the first one, I'd take away b to begin with, to give this x squared term by itself. So ax squared equals c, take away b. Now, I want to get down to an x squared term in the end to then square root. So if I then divide by a, that will get the x squared term by itself. So x squared equals c minus b, all divided by a. That's now x squared equals, so to get x by itself, I finish off with a square root. So x will equal, and I just put a big square root over that entire fraction. So square root of c minus b over a. But there's one really important thing to know, which is that it could be a plus solution or a minus solution. Because when you square a negative or a positive, they both become the positive answer. So when you square root an equation to find x, there's a plus or a minus solution. So the second one, again, it's the usual steps. There's a plus q here, so I begin by taking q away. So I get x minus t squared equals b take away q. So x minus t squared equals b take away q. I must somehow cancel off the square. So I do the square root. Because this leaves me with x minus t by itself. So I've square rooted. So it's a square root of b minus q. But the golden rule, when you square root, there's a plus or a minus solution. And then to finish off, I want x by itself, so I add t. So x equals plus or minus the root of b minus q plus t. And there we go. So that's when we have to square root at the end. We get a plus and a minus solution. OK, when the equation actually has a square root in, at some point we must square to get to x. So I've got a big square root there equals b, and I want to cancel off the square root. So if I square to begin with, this leaves me with x minus t. And this just equals b squared. So we're almost there. I want x equals, so if I add t across, I get x equals b squared plus t. So when we get down to the final square root, we square to cancel it out. So we're not quite there with the fourth one. There's an a adjacent to the square root. So I begin by dividing by a. So I'm left with the square root of bx plus c is equal to b minus 4 all over a. I've got a square root there, so I must square. So I get bx plus c, but this equals the entire fraction squared. So imagine a big bracket around that. It equals b minus 4 over a, all squared. But I want x by itself. So I must now do normal equation techniques to get down to x equals. So I take the c away. It gets messy this, but we'll keep on going. bx equals that entire expression. Take away c. Then to finish off, I divide by the b. So x equals that entire thing, b minus 4 squared, the array, take away c, all over b. That's a pretty messy answer. And in a future video, we look at how to make these sort of fractions more simple. But that will be sufficient for the moment.